I am at Garland Nursery in Corvallis with Erica. And Erica, you have really set up some great ideas for trough gardens, small container gardens, mm -hmm. for us to take home with us. Yeah, trough gardens are huge. All the customers are asking for them. And you know, you ask me, what do you put in a trough? That is limited to you. Um, we have beautiful, large, big side this table is a troughs. Big one. Um, awesome for a sunny site. Um, as far as choosing what kind of soils you want to put in them, that's a very important thing to think about. You don't Definitely. want to just grab any garden soil just out of the yard. Oh, you need no. to use something that's well draining. Okay. Um, cact cactus mix is what I like to use. Okay. Obviously, we're doing succulents and sedums and hens and chicks. Good draining. Draining is good, yes. Um, the one thing about the cactus mix that I kind of don't like to see I'm more of a perfectionist <laughs> is a little bit of the pumice that you see on top, but there's an opportunity there to add some um, personality to it there by sure. adding like tumbled rock, polished rock, um, you know, gra glass, sure. gravel, anything like that that kind of finishes it off. Obviously the plants will grow over that right. and, and hide it eventually, but at the beginning you kind of want it to look artistic. Right. Um, speaking of artistic, you also have Garden little structures art. that you can put in there. Right. Exactly. I um, love what you did here because you have a lot of different colors and textures and I think for yeah. whenever I started um, containers, mm -hmm. it was very monotone and monotextured yeah. and it was ugly, it yeah. wasn't nice. So really you got all these kind of pokey textures, smooth textures, Absolutely. flat. Absolutely, yep, different colors. You have the bright, you have the, you know, the darker, mm -hmm. um, something that flowers, something that's just for the foolage. Right. Um, and kind of intermingling them really helps draw the eye through it's the beautiful. planter. Beautiful. Really. And what if we don't have a big piece like this, yeah. something smaller? Well, most, like we say, most troughs are very narrow, very okay. you know, shallow, um, as far as like using the soil we've talked about, the cactus right. mix. But you don't want to fill it up too high. You want to leave room for those plants to be setting sure, in there. Sure. Um, yeah. Well, but I see that you have some smaller ones here, so we don't have to go really big. Maybe we want to start small, or we have a smaller space. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I mentioned earlier, you know, a vessel is a vessel. A trough is a trough. You can right. choose anything you have at home. It's something small, and then you just add to it whatever you want. I, I think, you know, having copper pots would be beautiful. Nice. I take old plastic pots and spray paint them colors. <laughs> That's I mean, a great idea. Yeah, it's fun. Well, um, if we don't have sun, what do we do if we don't have sun? So there are awesome steppables. There's awesome, you know, ground covers. Here we have a few to look at. If you want something a little brighter, you've got some of the mosses. Right. Um, blue star creeper. There's the dark blue and a light blue that are absolutely Pretty. gorgeous for something that's flowering. Um, I'm one of my personal favorites because you can't do anything to get rid of this sucker. I and mean, this guy is going to grow no matter where you put him. Is Liz Machia, and it's kind of cool trailing over in a certain corner of the trough. Yes, and then you've got some gray foliage there as well. So. Well, I think you've given us some really good ideas. And one of the other big trends these last couple of seasons is fairy gardens. So we're going to go over and talk to Brenda and talk about those with the gnomes. I like it. <laughs> well, now I'm in the fairy garden, gnome garden section with Brenda. Mm -hmm. And Brenda, this is so cute. Mm -hmm. And you have many different kind of aspects of making a fairy garden here. Yes. You can have everything from something really large like this to something small that would be inside your house. And um, fairies, especially like a wild environment so you could even pick like an old rotten tree stump with moss and things like that or a little area in your yard that you don't really um, use very often. Uh -huh. They like that kind of thing. And you have that in your rock garden right behind us. So you yes, really can do. get so many different ideas. You could either build a raised bed or just use a little area that you already have. Yes, exactly. And there's so much to choose from in terms of plants. You can do the tiny treasures mm -hmm. conifers and some of the steppables like um, the Corsican mint. But then there's a lot of lore that goes along with plants for fairy gardens. For instance, um, fairies are said to really love fuchsias because oh. it attracts the hummingbirds and fairies like to fly with the hummingbirds so there's all sorts of information online as to all that different plant lore and it sounds like you know a lot of it too so mm -hmm. that's really cool well i have one at home ah. i have a little miniature fuchsia and some fairies in there yes that mm -hmm. is so cool mm -hmm. because there's really it's your creativity and your escapism we were talking about that with erica mm -hmm. and it's just kind of just jump in yes. and just pick things out that yes. you would like to play with yes it's very whimsical and you can add your personality to the whole thing and accessorizing is that's the most fun of all picking the little um, little chairs and there's arbors and um, little drink glasses and the fairies of course because oh, course. they're adorable and just beautiful yes yeah and the gnomes are fun too so yes. there's really something for everyone yes you have to come out to garland nursery and to see all the different kind of pieces that you can get to put it together for your own mm -hmm. home and you don't have to go real big and go small mm -hmm. and you can really see that here at garland well thank you so much you're welcome